hello, welcome. Try this problem out and then press play when you're ready to solve it together. All right, so what are we doing in this problem? Well, here you can see they're telling us the definition of a function, p of x, and it equals twice the natural log of x minus 1. So, okay, I'm going to write that down over here. Twice the natural log of x minus 1. And then we've got m of x, and that equals the natural log of x plus 6. Now, I like to write these things out. It helps me think about the problem. And they want to know when these two things are equal. Right, that's the question. For what value here? Are they equal or is there no solution? All right, well, what I would say is that in this problem, you, you could try and solve it algebraically, but it gets pretty tricky, right? And in fact, you might reach a point where you can go no further. So if you really want to see the algebraic approach, let me know and I'll, and I'll set it up. But what I would say is that if you try to solve something algebraically and you're running into a difficulty, usually that means that you might give a graph a shot all right so we've got these two logarithmic functions and we're trying to see when they are going to maybe cross each other so like for example this function right here it's x plus six it's being shifted to the left by six so instead of crossing at one zero it's going to go over to negative five zero here right so i want to just label that point this is going to be negative five zero Typically, logarithms, if, unless they're translated up or down or stretched, will cross at the point 1, 0. And that's a whole separate conversation. But basically, the idea is that the result is 1 whenever the power is 0. And for the natural log of x plus 6, I will shift each point left 6. So I'm, I'm keeping track of that point right here. And then the asymptote, instead of being at the y-axis, that's the line that the logarithm is never going to reach, it's going to be... Uh, over here at negative 6, right? So it's going to be a little line over here at x equals negative 6. I say all this because, okay, well, even just a rough sketch of my logarithm then, it gives me a sense of what I might expect to see in a moment I put in the graphing calculator. Because this logarithm right here is going to cross the other one somewhere if there is a solution. The other one right here is going to be stretched by two and then shifted down one. So stretched vertically by two and then shifted down by one. So that one I'm feeling, okay, originally we're at one zero, so maybe when I double it, it goes up to two zero and then goes back down to one. So maybe it's like here. I don't think it'll move our asymptote at all, right? That's, that's a vertical stretch and then a shift. And then, so I'm thinking maybe they're crossing somewhere. For some value and at this point I'm really not sure I'm just gonna maybe it's like this Blah. okay so maybe they're crossing somewhere over here it's not really clear to me so at that point I'm thinking well my intuition I'm feeling a little shaky on this one right here I need to set up a table to figure it out or I can just pull up my graphing calculator and see what happens so let's do that so we go to y equals clear up any old problems we have on there. So we have twice the natural log of x. And we want to do the natural log, oops, twice the natural log of x minus 1. That's the first one there. And the second one is the natural log of x plus 6. So do that second, natural log of, oops, x plus 6. So all I do is I press the y equals button to get here. And now I enter them and close my parentheses and let's see if the graph produces anything. There's my first logarithm. And there's the second one. So they're crossing about here. So to find that intersection point quickly, I'm going to hit second, trace, and then go to choice five, which is intersect. Now it's on my first curve here. Yep, that's my first curve, hit enter. And the cursor should hop to the second one. If it doesn't, press up and down. I press enter again, and then when I see guess, I just hit enter a third time. And this tells me, okay, they're intersecting, intersecting with each other at about 5.62. So my graph wasn't the best. <laughs> Maybe this one uh, is should be, should be rising up a little bit more before it curves. And we can see that here in the graph. And this one, oh, it's not so bad. It crosses about 2, right? And the other one, I should have made it stretch even further, I think. I don't know. My graph is off. Anyway. 
So the point is that they do cross, and they cross at 5.62. It would only be no solution if they don't cross at all. Uh, my rough sketch here isn't the best. If you want to see it done by hand uh, in another video, just let me know, and I'll do that. Thank you.